Hi folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you so much for checking in today. I'm out here on lovely Otai Mountain in San Diego County, and today I'm using as a backdrop an old World War II artillery and communications bunker. And I thought it would be a perfect setting to do a reveal on a backpack that VanQuest had sent to me. Now, if you follow along on the channel, earlier in 2015, I had a chance to hang out in the VanQuest booth at SHOT Show, where they revealed this backpack, kind of gave us a little sneak peek. And at that time, it was called the Project F Backpack. They have since renamed it. It's known as the Falconeer 27. What I'm going to do is pull up an area out here. We're going to break it down, do a specs rundown, and I'm going to show you the capabilities of this pack. Then we'll come back and do some final thoughts. Come along and join me. It's going to be a fun day, folks. All right, let's get to laying this pack out and we'll show some of the features that this pack has. I'm in the back of my Jeep. We're going to showcase this just like if we were on a bug out. Now, with the Falconeer 27, it was based off of some of the best attributes of the Triton 20 and the Ibex 30 backpacks. They combined all of their best features and focused it in on this one backpack. Now, we're going to break this review up into a couple different sections because if you'll notice, this backpack is compartmentalized into three different compartments. So, we'll start with the outboard compartments first. We'll start with this one here. This is basically a little stuff sack area. What I did on this was just put a hat and I put a map in there. And what I did was I put gear in this just to illustrate a mock urban survival kit where say the vehicle broke down and I just have to try to facilitate my own rescue and get home. Now, on the outboard side of the pack, there's plenty of elasticated areas to grip objects. We have a little stuff area there. There's an area here, a little pocket. I put my Leatherman and some bug repellent in there. Now this section is the one that amazed me. And if you watch the uh, 2015 SHOT Show video where I'm in the VanQuest booth, they basically modeled this off of their fat packs. If you look at this, this is all elasticated to where, I mean, if you wanted to set this up with medical stuff you could i use 550 paracord some mechanics gloves same thing here just nice little stuff pockets just to compartmentalize and just individualize this pack to where if you need something quickly you can grab it have a carabiner with some stuff on it here little notebook compass whistle I like how this was done. Now, it has compression straps on each side. And let me put that back on. They kind of did that. So if you open this up, you could kind of use this as, quote, a bucket pack as well. But if you want to open it up real quick, do the same thing. And now I have a compartment here where... I put fire kit and I also put a couple easy laps to sharpen some knives. I threw in a solar panel because we all have electronic devices now. Threw in some food. If you'll notice, underneath that pocket, it's hollowed out right here. So I slipped in my tops to Homa. So if I'm in an urban area and I don't want people to see that I have a knife, which if I wanted to, I could also mount with the Molly and Pals compatible straps right there. It's up, it's out of the way. People don't even know that I have it. I put a stove in this compartment, another notebook there, right in the rain, some ponchos, a windbreaker jacket, kind of to fit in in an urban environment, an emergency blanket, and a SOL bivy. So you can see through here, 
what I like about that is you can see the gear that's in there because nothing's worse than when an event happens and you're stressed out and you're searching for gear. It will help you identify it and to be able to get to it really fast by that. Has nice pull ties on top. This compartment opens up. Now, you're going to recognize this from my Ibex 30 review. Pretty much the same layout almost as the Ibex 30. I put in a isobutane canister for my stove. I have a stainless steel water bottle. And here's where I compartmentalize my kit. So, I have my blowout kit. You've all seen a video done on this. And it just attaches with hook and loop. And then on the inside has another hidden compartment behind where I have an iPad that I put in there, but it'll fit a laptop. So it is truly an urban covert backpack. I have comms. I put in a pair of binoculars, flashlight. I have another kit with redundancies of my Leatherman Raptor and then my regular Leatherman, and then my level one first aid kit. So you can customize this based off of what you like. And if you have a concealed weapon that you wanna carry, well, they have an area here that doubles as, quote, a hydration bladder area or for concealed weapons. And that also has Velcro in there. And this is all hard backing. Now, had a chance to wear this for a while. I wore it up in Lake Tahoe when I did Tough Mudder up there a couple weeks ago. Did a couple hikes, put a lot of weight in it, walked around in the woods. And I must say that this pack handled it really, really well. The straps are high quality. You get load lifters on this backpack, something that you don't get with a lot of packs of this size. The back panel, extra padding in there. I didn't find that it got too hot. And it also has a hip belt, which is adjustable with their patented VanQuest lock on there. So it's not gonna inadvertently come off. So there's a lot of cool features to this pack. Also has drain holes, has hook and loop attachments for your hydration bladder or any other device that you wanna attach to this. Many, many attachment points. D-rings where you can put carabiners. The quality of this backpack is just outstanding. Now, the material, this material is made out of 500 denier Cordura, only in the multicam black. All the other colors are in a thousand denier Cordura and it's all mil spec. I find their stuff to just be outstanding, their attention to detail, even the neoprene in the handle. That way your hand just doesn't get all fatigued as you're carrying it. They just did a really great job. And if you need to get the stuff quick, bam, bam. And then the back panel for the final bam, you're good to go. Now for some final thoughts on the Falconeer 27. I've had a chance to test this backpack out now for a couple weeks and really put it through the paces. I used it up in Lake Tahoe for a couple days, exploring the woods up there. I've been using it here in the evenings, exploring canyons and such. And I really wanted to do that to get a better understanding of how the gear is gonna work for you. I think VanQuest combined the best attributes of their Triton 20, and of the Ibex 30 when they made this backpack. Now, how does this help you, the end user? Well, if I'm putting together a bug out bag or urban survival kit, the way that I put mine together, you can see how you can compartmentalize that bag real easy. And in the other colors that they come in, and I'll show here, I'll cut away, you could easily blend into an urban environment with this backpack. Now, if I'm a first responder, or if I just want to outfit a first aid kit, this would be an awesome bag to do that. As you saw, opening that first flap, I could really compartmentalize all my first aid gear and make, quote, 
the just ultimate crazy first aid kit. If I'm a law enforcement officer, I could easily outfit a kit that way. Hunter, fisherman, backpacker, you see where I'm going with this. The list goes on and on. Folks, I have to be up close and personal. VanQuest does not pay me to say this stuff. And I don't just throw out ratings just to throw out ratings. I really do these reviews for you, the viewer and the end user. And I love to test gear that is functional, that is made out of quality materials, and that they have an attention to detail when they put something together, and that it's going to be of value. I feel that you're going to get this with this kit. Now, normally I rate stuff on a scale of 1 to 5. 1 meaning that it's a dumper, it's going to go to the boneyard. 5, it's a grand slam, we hit the ball out of the park. Seeing everything that you saw in this kit with the workmanship, the attention to detail that we've all known to uh, come with from VanQuest, I have to give it a five. And I'm not just saying that because they partner up with me in this channel. Folks, if it didn't meet or exceed that standard, I would tell you this pack meets and exceeds the quality standards, the fit, the finish, the feel, and the functionality. You're not going to go wrong with the Falconeer 27. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I've had a pleasure being able to come out and review this kit for you. And I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.